Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on simultaneous equations and this is our first example. So let's have a look. Solve 3x plus 5y equals 13 and 2x plus 4y equals 10. Now the way we know this is a simultaneous equation is that there's two equations with two unknowns. So we have equation 1 and equation 2 so we're going to number them. And they have two different unknowns. They have an x and a y that we're trying to find out. So our job is to change one of the letters. So we're going to choose x first. We're going to change both of the equations, 1 and 2, so that there's the same amount of x's. Now the way we do this is quite simple. We take the first one and we times it by what's in front of the second one, which in this case is a 2. If we take this whole first equation times everything by 2, we'll get 6x plus 10y equals 26. So as you can see there, I times everything by 2. Now we're going to repeat for the second equation. So this second equation here, we're going to take it and we're going to multiply it by something. Well, we're going to multiply it by what's in front of the first equation. Well, there's a 3 in front of the first equation, so we're going to times it by 3. So if we take this second equation and times everything by 3, we'll get 6x plus 12y equals 30. So we've times everything by 3 there. Now the reason we've done this, and hopefully you've spotted, is we've got 6x now in both of the equations. So that's really good. We need the same amount of x's in both equations. So we're going to call these number 3 and number 4. Now if we look at that, uh, 3 and 4, you can see 4 is bigger than 3 because it gives you 30 as the answer instead of 26. So we're going to start with number 4 and we're going to take away number 3. So we're doing 4 take away 3. So let's do this in columns. Starting at the four, number 4, which is the bottom one, we're doing 6x take away the 6x above it. Well, that's 0. That cancels out. 12y take away 10y. Well, that leaves us with 2y. Equals, if you do 30 take away 26, you'll get an answer of 4. So if 2y equals 4, if we divide both sides by 2, then we know that y on its own, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So y is 2. That's one of the answers. We found one of the two answers, but we must find both. So we're going to use that y equals 2 and put it back into the first equation. I always put it back into the first equation because I find that's a way of me remembering. So that first equation, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to write it here as 3x plus... It's not 5y anymore. It becomes 5 times 2, which is 10, because y is 2, as it says here. So that 5y becomes 10, and that equals 13. And then we need to find what x is. So we're going to take away the 10 from both sides, like we do in solving equations. So we've got 3x equals 3. And then we're going to divide both sides by this 3 here. So x equals 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So we now, now have two answers, x equals 1 and y equals 2. So that answer will solve both of these simultaneous equations. Well, we've gone through a little example there of the question. Um, I hope that makes sense. Here are four practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.